Alright family, we're about to check out the presentation going on here at the Boys Center. And we're going to also go back to the Marcus Garvey Guest Center to take a photo of the sign. And it is a beautiful tropical day in Ghana. Now after the, uh, the rain, the nice cool breeze come in. A lot of cultural shopping family. Hello. Yes, hello, hello. That's what we tell me, family. Come to the motherland and enjoy paradise. Come to the motherland and get your shopping on. Reculture your life. Well, it took, this place has been transformed into a shopping, an outdoor shopping market. Mm -hmm. Definitely going to where Oh, is the sign black? No, 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 it's not black. Well, it's a whole lot of arts and craft here, family. It's a whole lot. These are huge. Oh yeah, all this place need now is some shoppers. You know what I mean, Duncan, it's a serious thing. You have lots of goods for sale, but you don't have enough customers. You know, you have a lot of products and a lot of services, but you don't have a lot of customers. So the customer base has to be you know, brought to the markets and, and connect. So we are wondering, where are all of the shoppers? Did they not get the memo? That's some, that's some, serious, that's some serious stuff right here. And what they also do is that they have another service that they run. When you want to immortalize your relative, you can bring them, pay them some money, and then you, you can have them on the wall. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, not a living relative. Right. But in your past, that you think should be immortalized, mm -hmm. they do that. So, so on the various wall, you see various names. Those names are all uh, relatives of people who decide to bring their yeah, and mortalize them on the memorial wall. So that is the Marcus Garvey Center. Marcus Garvey Center is also uh, a guest house. Well, you can come in and book and sleep and all that. So, like I said on the bus, Dr. Du Bois and Marcus Garvey, even though in real life they didn't, ideologically they were not on time, but in Ghana we make it happen that they are living together. <laughs> yeah, the only and, thing is just an unfair setup because. And, it, and that is uh, one reason is that. Nothing is over there for Garvey. Is because also in Ghana, 
we you, even though the country is multi-ethnic, you will not see that strife of ethnic conflicts within the country, and that's why you can see. Uh, somebody from Accra, originally from Accra, married to somebody in uh, maybe Central Region or Volta Region. So we intermarried and all that. So that is why, and even you, you don't see that strife between the Muslim and Christians in Ghana. Yeah, so that is it. Yes, the only thing I would say about the, there's nothing really pushing Marcus Garvey, like we saw the Boy Center, yeah. it's nice, it's official, yes. Yes. but this is just a guest house, but yeah. it doesn't really show the works of anything. Uh, exactly, exactly, right. But, I, but it's, you know, it's, I, yeah. you know, I guess it was a, yeah. an idea someone yeah. had, but uh, we have to do something official no, uh, for Garvey. Uh, oh, yes, mm -hmm. I was telling you about the Diaspora in African Forum, mm -hmm. and that is the, the offices of the Diaspora in African Forum, and what they do is, they help people who want to come back. They want to. They do advocacy. They do programs. And then one of their other services that they offer is when you want to bring back, immortalize your relative, your past relative, not a living one, but that one is on this wall. You pay them a little bit, and then they'll uh, you bring their name, and then they'll fix it on the wall. So you see various names on the law, the, the the wall there. And this is the uh, opening when they open it and all those people on the wall. And then, so you book an appointment there if you want to, everything you, about them, you go in and then. So they are also recognized by the African Union and then the government of Ghana. And all that. Right, that's perfect, brother, perfect. Appreciate you. Uh, before we close out, let's uh, take a, a few photos in front of the uh, Marcus Garvey sign. I guess we all know the bamboo. No. Yeah, the bamboo. Yes. In Ghana, we don't eat, but we use it for furniture and for drumming, drumming and dancing. We have uh, this one when it grows very big. We we'll cut here, we we'll cut it, and then we we'll use it to we'll put the stone down, and then you'll be hitting it, and it give a very nice sound. So we have the bamboo orchestra in our way, we pure bamboo music. They do that, so we don't just use. But in Ghana, wherever you see a lot of this grove of bamboo, it means that there's a lot of water around flowing through. Yeah. Yes, a plant of the water. Uh, new, fresh, man. And then, yes, fresh flower. Yes, family, and as you can see on all of our T-shirts. Marcus Garvey name is on all of them, inspired by Marcus Garvey, you know, inspired by greatness, inspired by, you know, a movement of connecting our people across all of the world. Yeah.